Welcome in, guys. We got Slime. Season 3, Episode 3, here in front of us today. This episode is titled Peaceful Days. Will it really be peaceful? You guys tell me. I mean, the minute we don't see Yuki, the clowns, or anybody else, I consider that a peaceful day. And you know what? Even Hinata and Demon Lord Luminous are slowly being swayed to our side. We haven't even met up with them yet, and they're already talking about entering negotiations with Tempest. Things are on the up and up. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this episode started and see what is cooking. He should return with the Beasketeer soon. Huh? Hmm, I guess that works. Yeah, so I guess they're just gonna... Wait, yeah. So, are they gonna rebuild your Xenia? I'm assuming so, right? They're just gonna rebuild it? Because for some reason, I just had this weird idea that like, oh, maybe they're all gonna stay with Milam and her territory, but I guess not. And I guess she also just has her people live on a mountain. And she doesn't even know she has followers, really. She just kind of does whatever she wants. I don't know. Uh, that is... I mean, I don't want to be mean, but... I think Melee might be the worst demon lord to work for. I, I, she she doesn't care, dude. She doesn't care. She's uh, she's too wishy-washy. Easy going. <laughs> oh. So they are going to build a new capital. No. No. Rimuru still has the final say. No, no, no. And Rimuru is also the strongest person here. Wow. Yeah, they already got 1,500. Not bad. Yeah, it, and the thing with that too is like if they put all the blame in Edmaris, the former king, like that's not going to solve their problems with Tempest. Tempest isn't just going to say, oh, <laughs> it's his fault. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the rest of the money, don't worry about it. The war? Ah, no big deal. No, dude, what? Like, yeah, it's a scapegoat, but it's a scapegoat that's only going to work in making them feel better about their situation. It, it won't change anything. But yeah, they are falling into the plan. Because Yom is just going to step in and then become the new king. It's just crazy how dumb some of the nobles are, in my opinion. Which, par for the course, you know. <laughs> par for the course. It's hard to find smart nobles in anime. And in real life, even. You know, it's just all around. Oh, the Archbishop? Send him. Ooh, send him with Diablo. <laughs> but can you trust him, though? I guess he's under a pact, right? Hmm. Yeah, where Phobio at? Keeping an eye on the prisoners who haven't left. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Phobio. 
Hobie was also the one guy who didn't get to sleep before the war started. I rest in peace. Hopefully he found a bed. Hey, Gabiru. He played a big role in the war. Yeah, he only fought Midray, right? He beat the kid that was with Midray, though. It's going to be something super silly. Yeah, here we go. Teach them what cooking is all about. Midray? Frey? Carrion? Or does she have new subordinates? <laughs> yeah, the, the dragon faithful are really strange. I mean, Milam's entire group is strange, to be fair. I don't know how they function. Also, that's like one of the first instances we had where Milim actually asked for something reasonable, right? Like, hey, I'm sending subordinates over. Could you please teach them how to cook? And it's like, okay, wow. You know, I, I didn't expect that. I was expecting something silly like, oh, let's fight next time, best year. Hey, what are you up to next Saturday? You know what I mean? Like, I'm actually impressed. The influence of Frey is uh, nothing to be trifled with. Frey and Carrion leading the group, I see. Training her. A month since Walpurgis, okay. Oh, uh -huh. what is that? Geld? Wasn't he looking after the Majin? And there was some Majin not happy. But they're prisoners! Ah, that's fair. I mean, those were the prisoners, right? The Majin prisoners? Like, you think they'd be like, Oh, we lost the war. We'll take the fall with grace. I don't want to die. We'll just work. Why is Trainee the bartender? Ah, we'll, ju we'll just accept it. <laughs> Trainee the bartender, yeah. She just kind of pops up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. More human merchants. That's big. Yeah, don't blame him. I, I would not make a move against the Demon Lord either. Oh, oh, they have an Empress. 
Huh, we never knew. So, is this season going to be about building the road to Thalion then? The Kusha Mountains. Okay. Steep valleys, rocky crags. The Tengu reside. What? Is that a race? They're warlike people. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. A little Benny Maru side story. That's kind of nuts. Frey is cautious of them. And she's like the best fighter in the sky, right? Mmm. Benny Maru and Albus. That's a, that's a good combo. Albus is the best from Eurasania. No, because if they get together, they'll stay here. Yeah, I do wonder if there's going to be any relationships sprouting here in Tempest. Like, I mean, the episode is literally titled Peaceful Days, right? Like, at some point, in the midst of peace, love blooms. Yeah, there should be no problem, right? Why did everybody gasp? We have the Dryads with us. We have Eldora. What's the problem? The part across the river, too. Does someone live there? Oh. I mean, it's no big deal. <laughs> I wonder if Rimuru is just going to tell them to live how they were. Yeah, Rimuru doesn't really care. But I mean, you have to keep up the appearance though, right? You can't just let them... Do themselves? We have not seen his dad since season one. I wonder if he's changed any. Oh, a festival. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a big party. Yep. This feels like an end of a season more than the start of one. Like, it's just all so happy-go-lucky. I'm just waiting for everything to hit the fan. Oh, yeah. I wonder if... 
Imagine a Luminous comes over to to establish relationship. That'd be kind of funny. Or Hinata even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that'd be a good, uh, what, party crasher right there. Uh, but hey, thank you guys so much for joining me on this little slime adventure. We finally caught up. We finally caught up and we'll be doing these weekly as they come out. Hopefully you join me on that adventure and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.